Swami's keynote just wrapped and it had a whole bunch of new announcements that are gonna be huge for anybody building generative AI applications, but also for those that are using generative AI to build all sorts of analytics applications by extracting data from unstructured information. So it really is divided into two categories here. There's the, the generative AI models, the foundation models themselves, and then the knowledge that you feed to them to build the analytics and applications. On the model front, starting at the very bottom for those model providers, new features in SageMaker Hyperpod enable training much faster. That includes blueprints from providers like Stability AI in the future and providers like Mistral right now. Next level up, you have Bedrock Marketplace where many model providers can provide access to over a hundred different generative AI foundation models through the same Bedrock Converse API that everyone is used to using. One level up from there, you have a new set of models that are being released alongside the Amazon Nova models from yesterday are models like Luma, and LumaRay being introduced directly in the native Bedrock interface. On the knowledge front, you have Bedrock knowledge bases, which have been enhanced with graph rag capabilities to automatically understand the structure of the information contained in your documents, videos, images, whatever it might be, and enable new applications to query on top of that. Structured data can also be fed into knowledge bases. So you can take that tabular data from your now, what used to be called you know, Lake Formation is now SageMaker or Lake House. Bring that in and enable structured query generation and results to come back from your structured and unstructured data in one place. One more level up in the knowledge base front, you have the ability to take data out of those documents in a data pipeline built in the SageMaker Unify experience so that you can provide a more structured experience, pulling out exactly the data, checking that you have the right things, and then further feeding that into your models downstream. The combined set of announcements from Matt's talk yesterday and Swami's today are going to change the way that we build AI applications and data products, not just in the long term, but over the next couple of months. If you're looking for more information on reInvent and the full set of announcements, check out Kaylin's reInvent recap. Thank you.